What's going on today guys? Massive Hater here. Welcome back to another episode of WNN, the most official music production news network on YouTube. Tonight, we've got some news. In our first story, Mr. Bill has released his new drum processing plugin named Slap. It combines a click replacement tool as well as a multi-effect unit to create something that uh, hopefully slaps. The click module can be used to replace any layer or transient while the six effects modules clap, shape, Fat, spray, clipper, and sub can be routed as you wish via drag and drop. There's a tone section to glue everything together, a global tune control, and a global FX control for scaling the processing amount of all of the FX modules at once. Finally, there's a waveform display with multiple visualization modes. Now this is an actually good plugin idea. It's kind of like Decap's Knock plugin, but on crack in a good way. Being able to replace the transients on drums is a great way to change the sound, along with the ability to reorganize them in different orders. Should I review this plugin? Let me know in the comments. I probably will anyways. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do after this video. It has an introductory price right now of 72 pounds, and the regular price is 105 pounds, and there's also a 14 day trial. There's quite a few interesting plugins lately. I don't know, I don't know what's gotten in everyone, but they should keep it up. News new Softube Lo-Fi Reverb plugin. This reverb was designed to replicate the sound of early digital reverbs aliasing, giving you a more lo-fi sound. Designed for instant and extreme lo-fi vibes, this comes with a retro futuristic interface and promises to deliver that bany sound. There's variable sample rate and selectable aliasing filter type and a high pass filter that's designed to reduce low end rumble. I think this is a pretty interesting idea. I don't know if it's something I would use too often personally, but I definitely could see this working better for certain genres or certain types of sounds. It's available now for the introductory price of $36 or 35 euros. For some reason they always say it in pounds or euros here. We're American. Uh, or I am. We're American. News? You can now get Reason Plus and Arcade in a bundle deal. Hold your hold your booze guys and, apl and applause I guess. Hold them both. You can get them both for $149 for a year which is a decent deal. It's normally about $249 a year which I'm not as excited about but you guys already know how I feel about subscription services with DAWs and plugins. If you don't know how I feel about that, uh, make sure to check out this video up here. You know, maybe watch this whole video first though. I don't want to fuck up my watch time. That's why I usually don't do those sort of cards. I did a video talking about why I think plugin and DAW subscription services are a scam. I definitely do think there could be some value in plugins that provide constant updates to their content, such as Arcade, and I guess Reason Plus too, but I definitely personally prefer Arcade. I mean, I guess they're not really too comparable, but you do get more things with Reason Plus, but I personally find more use out of Arcade. They earn their monthly subscription at least in my opinion I, I don't pay for reason plus but i do sometimes pay for arcade or splice and i think the reasons why they still have some value to me is the fact that they add new content all the time and usually it's pretty high quality content more so with arcade than reason plus in my opinion if you don't know what reason plus and arcade are though arcade is a plugin that provides new content, like usually samples and loops that you can use in your music. They're pretty high quality in my opinion. Like I can make some pretty good beats with them. Uh, sometimes they're, they're a little corny. Sometimes they're pretty good though. It really depends how you use it. And then Reason Plus, um, it's like an all access Reason Pass. You get access to Reason 12. You get access to like everything they make, I think, like including all the different plugins and like all the different packs that they make. It's kind of like arcade, but better in a sense. But like, I do feel like the quality control is not quite as much there. Anyways, moving on news. William Orbit recently said in an interview that uh, he believes that Pro Tools is better than drugs. And honestly, I think he might still be on drugs to have this take. News. In our next story, Teenage Engineering's mini mixer is now a standalone portable recorder. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care. Teenage Engineering is a bunch of schemers. Uh, I chose my words carefully there, I didn't say scammers. Here's a quick reminder that the MPC Key 61 costs a bit less than the OP1 Field and is like just shitting on it in terms of features. It's velocity sensitive, unlike the OP Field 1. It's got preamps in it, unlike the OP Field 1. It's overall just much better. In our next story, my video about music production YouTubers possibly being frauds has blown the fuck up. In our next story, Bitwig 4.3 is the new update. Why'd I say it like that? In our next story, Bitwig has received its 4.3 update, including new devices such as the Convolution and Delay Plus, improvements to their flagship synthesizers, and a whole bunch of sounds in the form of a massive sound package, as well as an impulse sound library. They also added support for a new plugin format named Clap, um, which takes us to our next story. News? Uh, I meant to talk about this one a week or two ago, but I just never got around to it, and uh, yeah, I got caught up with some other things, so we'll talk about it really quickly here. Clap. Now, it's not what you think. It's not the STD. It's uh, more like a VST, but 
different. Clap is a new open source plugin format inspired by MIDI 2 as well as MPE. It has better support for multi-core processors as well as automation for individual notes and individual voicings within your synthesizers. It promises to take multi-thread management to a new level with clear and efficient allocation of roles between plugin and host. Preliminary tests are reporting to show significant performance gains. I'm gonna be honest, I'm excited for this one and I hope they add it to more DAWs as well as plugins. Automation has been described as MPE on steroids. MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression and is a new standard protocol for electronic music production. While MIDI based, MPE allows musicians to edit data from each individual note and not just from a single channel. In short, this looks like a serious bid to disrupt the plugin landscape. Clap 1.0 has been in development for several years. It's already being evaluated by the likes of Arteria, Cable Guys, FabFilter, ImageLine, Presonus, Valhalla, DSP, and X4 Records. I'm quite excited for this one to be added to the DAWs and plugins that I use because um, I could always use some more performance gains. News! In our next story, the Nintendo Switch has a new concept design to be used as an NPC. Is it real yet? No. Is it a concept with cool art? Yes. Let's check it out. So, it's based around the premise that you can replace the standard Joy-Cons, the gaming controllers that attach to the side of the Nintendo's console, with the Kai Pro NPC style music making modules. The Switch could then run the appropriate software, which could be managed via its touchscreen. Do I ever think it'll actually be made? Probably not, because uh, I don't think Nintendo is the most open to this sort of thing. Thing. In our next story, we got what seems like a kind of a useless plugin to me. More gates. Yes, more things that do exactly what we already have in our stock DAW. SSL releases the X gate, a gating plugin that's promised to be precise and intuitive. I feel like gating is already pretty intuitive and precise though. It features a rolling waveform graph, mid slide processing tools, a tweakable hysteresis. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly using independent open and closed thresholds. Other features include variable look ahead times and the promise of zero additional latency at the lowest setting, making X gate suitable for tracking when you need to avoid mic bleed. Seems like they're getting a little carried away here. Fast, snappy, and precise, X gate is guaranteed to be your new workhorse plugin for shaping drums and other instruments, adding punch to your mixes, and transparently fixing ghost notes, noise, or room bleed. I've never heard of a gate adding punch to a mix, but uh, that's what Jonathan Sandman Plugins Product Manager SSL is saying. You can get this a part of the SSL Complete Subscription. Boo! Or you can get it on its own for the introductory price of $89. And the regular price will also be $89 starting the 28th of July. I'm guessing that's a typo. So you can get it at the same price uh, whether you buy it now or later. So buy it now or later or not at all. Your choice. Now we're going to talk about a bunch of free shit. Got quite a few stacked up here. I've been stacking these up for the past few weeks. Usually I would do these free shit videos in their own sort of video, but... I just, I feel like I don't really have the time lately, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it at the end of this video. Ableton, in collaboration with Foodman, is releasing a free Ancient Civilization sample pack. It's a decent amount of drum and voice samples. I'll link all these things in the description. You can also get 235 free impact synth samples from Sample Radar. Then Synth 4 has really, it's either Synth IV or Synth 4. Synth 4 has released Luxon, a new free synthesizer for Windows. Cool Wave releases Space Portals, a free preset pack for Output Portal. And Octo Aider, or maybe it's October, I don't know. He released a free pack of 400 presets for Nyphonium. Never heard of that one. Then we got a free vocal pack from GhostHack.com, featuring 20 ad-libs, 8 phrases, and 10 one-word shots. They're all royalty-free as well. And we got free drum loops from Somatics. Basically, this includes two or three samples from every Somatics sample pack uh, ever since 2015. Not sure, but you may have to give them your phone number and they will be harassing you frequently at all hours of the night. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad, but they, they do they definitely do text me like once a week. And lastly, Cool Wave releases some free presets for the DCO 106 and DS Audio Thorn. I haven't heard of those. Anyways, I'll link all this free shit in the description if you guys want to check that out. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of WNN. I'm your host, Weaver Beats, the massive hater, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But make sure to check out my second channel, Patreon, affiliate link, Twitter, Twitch, all that shit. Please, thank you. Have a good night. I just wanna drill your cheeks No, I'm not in love